The wind of change was certainly blowing at Kingsmead in Durban. Most would have expected Australia to reach the last four, but how many people would have tipped the Minnows Kenya to have done so? Both teams went into the ninth and last Super 6 match secure in the knowledge that a semi-final place was already theirs. However, neither of them were going to ease up in their efforts to win. There's confirmation of where we stand after more than a month of the tournament. There's confirmation of a marvellous Australian team. And there's confirmation of some nervous Kenyans. Oh, that's a beauty. Lovely bit of a laid out swing. Oh, it's bowled him. Oh, he's also hurt him as well. It's got him on the elbow. It's nasty delivery. It was short. It's bounced up, and I think it's hit a boy on the elbow. It's gone back onto his stumps, and he's in quite a bit of pain there. It's a very, very nasty blow. It's not the sort of start. Kenya had in mind, nor Kennedy Aboya. Unfortunately, has to go. He's out for one, and Kenya are three for one. Oh, that's well taken from Potting. Rajal Patel has only just made it out to the middle, replacing Kennedy Aboya, and he's got a beauty first up. An excellent delivery from Brett Lee. a hat-trick and what a beautiful delivery to bring up the hat-trick on fast straight 155.5 k's not much David Aboya could do about that but well, that's a World Cup hat-trick for Brett Lee that's the line he wants to be bowling but that's an even better shot half on the back foot punched down the ground past the follow through of Bickle again for four Beauty. He's got a touch of class about him, this guy. That's in the air, but it's in also into the gap. That's a good shot. That's up in the air with four safe. Doesn't seem so. Single off uh, the last ball, he goes to 50, 129 for 439 over Scott. Should be out. Pickles the man under it. Takes it safely. It's 131 for five now. 40 overs have gone. And that was a very good innings by uh, Steve DiColo. A half century for him. Yes. And out court behind. Now. Uh, Coming in from the old Fort uh, Road end, are we suddenly going to see some away swing from Andy Bickle? Well, that's a big roar, and Billy Bowden's up again. 141 for seven now, that's the end of the 43rd. Oh, he's got him. <laughs> he has got him. He's got another wicket, Lehman. Well, he's burgled another one. That's his second wicket for Lehman. Two for 22, and Potting's got 10 catches for the tournament. Oh, I'll take that. Modi says you bounced me twice. And now I'm going to hit back. Good shot to finish the over. 155 for eight. Oh, that's gone an absolute mile in the air. 
Brittley's trying to track it down, and he can give it up. I think it's gone all the way. Yes, and Billy Bowden said, yes, that's the first six of the innings. He's got the full toss. He's got it away over cover. Hasn't quite got the timing, though. A big groan comes out from the crowd. Well, Martin Suji finishes it with a pretty quick fire, 15. Hitesh Modi on 39, and Kenya have done a good job, good recovery job. Eight for 174, they finished from their 50 overs, and the crowd have been entertained. Yeah, not bad at all from the Kenyans, brave stuff. There were fine knocks from the captain, Steve Tickelow, and the opener, Ravinder Shah. Brett Lee was the star of the bowlers for the Australians with the fourth Cricket World Cup hat-trick, and he finished with figures of three for 14. There's a start for uh, Matthew Hayden. Didn't do anything in the air. And, uh, Hayden will be more pleased with uh, that signal from Billy Bowden. he's done on a number of occasions on this tour oh that one's right out of the middle and whoa, 10 12 rows back <laughs> even Billy Bowden liked it oh he's gone again this one will be out of the ground well we thought the last one was big Adam Gupra says, I can do it even better. Oh, big noise that time. Gilchris walks. Well, he's done some damage, Adam Gilchris. 67 from 42. But Ogondo's got him, and he deserved the wicket. He's bowled very well. That's gone. Very powerfully hit. Very good pull of the ball, Ricky Ponting. Australia march on to 105 for two. That's got to be out close. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Well bowled. Quicker delivery after having spun a couple. Fizzed in the quicker ball. Caught the skipper by surprise. Very good bowling. That's gone again. Three wickets for Asif Karim. Well, well, well. What's happening here? That has gone a long way. Simons, you might have done it again. It's 145 for 5 from 23. That's through as well. Ian Harvey on this occasion. Well struck. Scores are tied. And that's it. Full toss it through the wide mid-on region by Ian Harvey. And Australia have gone on to win this game in the end quite comfortable because of course they have still got Another 18 overs and four balls to go. And five wickets in the hutch. Boy, that was a good fight by the Kenyans, but the brutal reality is that Australia were home and dry with five wickets in hand. The man of the match was that Kenyan spinner, Asif Karim. Three for seven from eight overs. A night that he'll never forget. 
Despite the defeat, Kenya joined Australia in the semi-finals and Sri Lanka await Ricky Ponting's men. Four, 